Okay, here we are inside Matrix Gold again. Welcome back if you're a, a subscriber or you've seen my channel before. And uh, uh, if you, it's first time, I hope, uh, I hope you can uh, grab something useful out of the video. Uh, but this one uh, is going to be very simple. If you're a, a veteran to Matrix or Matrix Gold, you uh, may not find this video very interesting. But there could be some things that uh, you, you uh, learn. Uh, but this is going to be basically about customization of the gumball and certain uses it can do. I have a video uh, up, uh, the power of the gumball, I think. I'll, I'll post a link up the top. Uh, but I'm not going to rehash uh, things that uh, I already talked about in that video. We're basically going to go in and, and talk about the actual customization for the most part. So let's get started. Uh, so let's get our gumball on and of course uh, the gumball uh, if you go here uh, you, you can pull up the menu here you can do all these commands relocate the gumball uh, relocations uh, I think is in the other video so I'm not going to rehash that uh, I will do one thing uh, on relocation if you go in here and you see all the three arrows light up white uh, you, you are able to click it and drag it to a, a spot so now it'll snap to the mid there or if you go and you can click it to the end uh, certain views you can click it to the center yeah there uh, but you have to be on like this view here you won't be able to in the top view I don't think so so you have to uh, oh, I clicked on something there. Uh, you have to be <laughs> careful <laughs> uh, where, uh, what view you're in if you're wanting to do certain things. But uh, usually the end snaps are no problem. Sometimes the center, uh, you have to be in a, a viewport that's a little more uh, conducive to uh, uh, what you know where it will pick it up at. But uh, that, that's just one thing. The, the center with the three, uh, then it turns to three white, and then you're able to drag an item and snap it exactly to where you want it. Uh, just a little, uh, it helps sometimes. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, also, if you uh, click on it and then move, you can move it in any direction. So you're able to, if you want to move something in, any direction you want. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you can move it up and down, you can move it left and right, you can move it in perspective, uh, sideways, so there, you know, it doesn't matter where. Uh, if you uh, just click on the, go to the center of it, get them all changed to white, and then you can drag it in any viewport. So if I wanted to snap it to that point, bing, there I go, you know. Uh, so that that can be uh, pretty useful at times. Uh, just FYI, uh, let's go ahead and get back in because basically this one's you know like I said a customization of the gumball. So let's uh, let's get a gumball in a, a good position. And oh, there is one other thing. If you go to there and you ho click on Control and then then click. You're you're able to move the gumball and snap it to locations uh, on an object. Uh, so that's a, that's another good one. I guess you really don't have to. Yeah, yeah. If you you kind of have to, I guess. Hit Control and then click on the gumball as all three are white, and you can move it to a different location and uh, snap it to different areas if your snaps are on of course if they're not on then well uh, you won't be able to what's the knot the knot is these are these lines let's check this out I haven't done this so hold down control hold down control and let's see if it snaps to the no yeah uh, but you can uh, you know move it around to wherever you want it uh, which is cool you can also relocate it uh, if you click on it uh, relocate the gumball uh, but I did that in another video like I said uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reset that and we'll go back into our uh, uh, circle here and then down here to settings okay and then it'll bring up this menu and you're able to do all kinds of things uh, snappy gumball is is actually a good one too because it allows you to uh, 
uh, snap to things as well so if you have snap on uh, and you oh I can't uh, let's go ahead and click off that let's click on this and then snappy gumball will let you do the same thing click to different points so if you want to move it even to the own to its own thing uh, you're able to do so uh, so let's go back and grab that again I'm going to change it back to smooth and we'll go to settings and we'll talk about these here first of all you can change all the colors of your gumball uh, so the X color, you just click here, change it to whatever color you want, uh, Y, uh, Z, and uh, the ball. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, close out of that one. Let's do the ball. And we'll just pick a hot pink here. And uh, go ahead and hit enter. And now our uh, circle there is pink, if you want it there. Uh, you know, you just customize it any way you want, any color. Uh, so let's go on, move on down real quick. I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, size and pixels, gumball radius. Okay, this will change the the size of your gumball. Uh, so if you you bump it up to, or let's take it down to 40. Gets, be careful because <laughs> if you get it too small, it gets to be a pain to to get it back up to a size where you can manipulate. I'm going to take it down to 40. It's going to be pretty small. Uh, so let's go ahead and click. So there, you know, uh, you can change the size of the gumball. It's just it gets a little difficult if you go too far down. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and right away and change that back to 80. I think that's the default 80. Now 60. Let's go to 80. 80. Uh, and then the the tip length. The tip length is uh, the arrows. Uh, of how far they are, the the arrows, I believe. Uh, let me check my notes here, make sure. Uh, yeah, right. Specifies the length of the direction arrows, so you you can actually you know take those. Let's take them up to a hundred, just to check it out. And I reset. There you go. There's a gumball for you. <laughs> Uh, but there, uh, it'll change the the arrow size. So maybe you want a larger arrow, arrow or smaller arrow at times. Uh, so you can change that. Uh, I can't remember what that is. I don't care. <laughs> we'll get back to that later. Uh, tip width. So it'll uh, change the the width of the direction arrows. So you can you can make them wider. I think tens highest you can go. Uh, something like that so it, it just makes that width there uh, wider uh, and let's go back and really don't worry you can play around with these uh, as much as you want there are some really good ones and useful ones uh, in here that you you really probably want to know uh, let's see tip width uh, scale handle size so you can make the scale handles larger I think 10 is the longest you can go again I'm not 100% sure. So the s scale handles on there, and I'll just redo that. So you can see the the boxes where you, s you hold down shift and scale things is uh, a lot bigger, <laughs> of course. Uh, and uh, let's see, a plane location. Uh, plane location determines how far away it is from your point. And you know, uh, a lot of times you're working on something and that plane really kind of gets in the way, or at least it does for me. So sometimes I take this plane location and I just bump it way out there, do an 80. So it moves it further away so I'm not grabbing it on certain things. Uh, but that's that's kind of a useful one. I, I, I use that one uh, several times. Uh, or quite often I should say. Uh, plane location, plane size, you can also make those bigger. Let's go ahead and bump them up crazy size. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so they're nice and large. Uh, bigger is better, right? Uh, and let's keep on going. Uh, plane size, uh, plane visibility angle. Now this one's kind of tricky. Uh, 50, the default seems really, really useful, but maybe uh, it's popping up when you're moving it and it's getting in the way and you don't want to go back and move it out you you can change this plane location to a, a lower or higher degree I'm going to take it down to 30 and I'll show you what it does so r right away the top view no problem they're all in 30 
uh, but like this one here you can't you, you don't see them as quickly right so you have to get it within that 30 degrees before it pops up so each one will have to be in a different degree there you go uh, in order for it to to pop up uh, so the, you know depending on what you're working on it, c it could prove to be useful so you have to kind of move it to the 30 degree thing okay uh, so let's let's go back to our settings uh, vis plane visibility axis uh, thickness axis thickness is let's see uh, the thickness of the axis arrows uh, so this here I guess uh, let's uh, let's see our arrow width. Uh, where's that at? tip length? Let's take that down to uh, 50, and then let's take our axis width and bump it up to an 8, and hit enter. So you can see those uh, arrow uh, lines are much much thicker now. Uh, of course, we're getting into something crazy here, but uh, we'll keep going. <laughs> Uh, you know, an arc thickness, that's your uh, moving, you know, you're uh, switching your arc. Uh, so you could change that to an 8.2. And now that thing's really nice and thick. You can make them thinner too, either or. Uh, so that's, uh, that's something useful. Uh, menu ball location again this will will take that ball let's put it up to 90 and bump it way out there so it just moves it further away because sometimes that does get in the way that's another good one I use quite often this one and the moving these out uh, are sometimes I, I use uh, a lot depending on what I'm working on uh, menu ball lo uh, location <coughs> excuse me uh, and then that's the one we just did. Uh, menu ball size, you can change that. So let's bump that up to 10 so it's nice and big. All right. Uh, and then we'll keep going. Uh, menu ball, uh, extrude ball, the, the balls here, if you're going to bump those up, you probably want to bump up the balls so that you can extrude things. Uh, so let's bump them up to a 10 and see what they are. So there you go. There's our uh, new gumball. <laughs> Uh, nah. customized gumball and of course the colors and everything you can customize it however you want but I thought it was just uh, this is for beginners this is something uh, uh, really good to know especially the uh, moving and snapping uh, that's probably very useful and of course uh, the other video has the other, th other things where you can extrude things out you can uh, um, duplicate them uh, there's all kind of things you can do in the other video you might want to check out. Uh, but there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it uh, helps uh, in uh, your customization uh, of the gumball. Uh, good designing and thanks for watching.